All right, so uh, Dina is yes. handling today's question. Yes, group. it is time for this morning's question. <gasps> I, you guys are powerful when that yeah, happens. Yeah, that was good. That was great. Okay, so because Ashley was at the nerdy in the best way uh -huh. hair salon, my question is if you owned a hair salon, how would you deck it out? Like, what would the theme be? Got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, think about it. Dave, you first. Let's see, the bald guy with no hair creates a salon and oh. he would have a sports <laughs> themed hair salon with pennants and posters, mm. all sports related. Oh, I like that. I've never seen it. You look great with a bald head. Okay, I think Ashley's next. <laughs> Ooh, that is such a good question. So I personally love going to the beach. So I would do a beach theme, something vivacious yet sophisticated, uh, figure out a way to bring in sand. Sounds of waves. Oh. oh, now my brain's spinning. Good luck sweeping the hair out of sand. Sounds like a spa. Okay, thanks, Ash. Who's next? Anchors? Oh, Scott Zentner. Zentner. Okay, Zentner. Uh, I really don't have a lot of experience with hair salons, given the fact that I don't really have a lot of hair. But I think if I was going to have a theme, maybe a place where you can get your beard trimmed. Yeah. And some ribs. Oh. Maybe oh. The uh, tri tip sandwich. <laughs> yeah. I think a barbecue joint, hair salon. That's actually pretty Could be a good combo. I feel like you should eat the ribs first, then get the wash, then trim the beard. By the way, his beard is real. I mean, he's, he's bordering on Yukon Cornelius right now. <laughs> oh, glory. Yeah. All right, John, how about you? Uh, the theme would be brutal honesty. <laughs> And our target consumer would be guys around my age uh -huh. who have not come to terms with their hair, if you know oh. what I mean. They're still trying to puff it up. Why are you looking right at me? I'm not what looking you at you. Say? You know, like the guys that they're thinning, but they think that they puff it up, mm -hmm. and then everybody walks out with a shaved head. Oh. Wait, That's did just you like... send me that mean email? Uh, <laughs> no. Maybe in 60 trying to look 20 with it? No. <laughs> Cody. Uh, mine is going to be a flock of seagulls theme. Oh, oh okay, wow. We'll play nothing but flock of seagulls and music, Iran, right. space age love song, and then we're going to do everybody's hair just like theirs. Little known fact, they were actually hairstylists. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? Where they formed the band. They were all working together and stuff. One of them had a, uh, a video recorder, and they... Bro song and jaw thinking. Wow. Um, uh, it turns out they're better at making music than their hair. <laughs> that style was awful. Uh, my theme would be ski themed. Oh. Yeah, okay. I would have like a mountain theme, uh -huh. and every chair would be a different mountain. Like one would be Mount Whitney, one would be Mount Rainier, one would oh. be Shasta. You could oh. sit like in a chairlift when you get your hair cut. Yes. And then instead of like a normal shear, Mm -hmm. There would be like ski poles, and you could just, you know, for the people who have the long hair. <laughs> Scott likes it. <laughs> so, uh, be honest, when you go skiing and you put your knit cap on, do you still like arrange your hair coming out of it? So what it did looks... you ask me? A knit cap? Yeah. <laughs> A beanie? Your toque? It has it has different <gasps> names around the country. I was just when I ski, that. I wear a helmet. So uh, I'm not trying to, I'm not uh, trying to be all cute. Because you're that kind of skier. <laughs> all right, do this again tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. We are?